Hey YouTube. YouTube! So here we are for another weekly rewind, and it's actually another pretty awesome day here in With California. the weirdest drink that Brian has ever made me. This is a... It's cucumber vodka with orange juice and, and lime, and it's pretty delicious, actually. It's, and I'm spilling it all over my sweats. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that, but... He hasn't even had anything yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's... It I'm tastes... not sure what that means. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like the taste or not. Uh -huh. Do you like it? You can make your own drink then. No, I mean... I'm saying it's very different from what you normally would make. <laughs> so it's got a kind of a weird aftertaste to it. So, moving on to this week's content. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. You're such a lightweight. Sorry. Moving oh, on. before we start, one more interruption. Um, I posted on my Facebook that I was going to make some uh, lemon bread this weekend, and you guys were all, yay, yeah, 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 Daddy Brian cooking video. No, I cook the lemon bread, not Daddy Brian, just so you know. Whatever, nobody cares. Cheers to my lemon bread. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want your nasty lemon. Okay, bread. now on to South Africa. Are we talking about? No, we're actually talking about something that's really sort of inspired me this week. And there's been kind of a movement since transgender rights have been in the news a lot, usually about bathroom controversies. Yeah, negative stuff. That they've started a photo campaign with transgendered people in the bathroom people think they should be in, mm -hmm. usually with pictures saying, does it look like I really need to be in here? One of them had a really burly guy in a women's bathroom mm -hmm. with the women behind him. And the, the campaign, I forget what the actual hashtag is for. We all just Something need to pee. pee. We all just yeah. need to pee. Um, and I thought it was really awesome. One of the reasons being is because the transgender community is really finding its voice. And I think that's an awesome thing. We've dealt with a lot of people who aren't, you know, when, sometimes they just want to kind of live as who they are presenting to the world. So if you're male to female, you just want to live as female and not have anybody... Yeah, they want to blend. ...know anything different. Yeah. But that's really hard when you're trying to fight for your rights as a transgendered person. You have to put your story out there. You have to be willing to put your face out there in order for people to get to know you, for change to happen. So for this um, movement to be picking up and, and taking off, I think, is a really cool thing. And for some of you that don't know, because we have a lot of people who follow us internationally, there, a lot of states now in America are passing laws that are targeting trans people mm -hmm. because, you know, gay people have won a lot of rights. So I think because we're winning the marriage equality fight that they're now putting that hate and that bigotry on trans people and they're making it illegal for them to use uh, basically the bathroom of, of the gender that they they feel they are so if somebody who is trans goes into like if, if you're a male trans member and you go into a men's bathroom you can actually be fined and go to jail for that so this is their response to that they're basically going into the opposites well to their with their genders bathroom and using the restroom right yeah it's pretty and, brave and it, it is yeah it, it takes a lot of bravery to put your face out there um, okay well let's so. let's show one of the faces take a look at this picture Okay, so I think that's a really cool picture, and as you can see, there's actually females in the background, and they're probably looking at him like, why is this guy in the bathroom taking pictures in the bathroom? This is kind of weird. Someone calls security. <laughs> you know, I know if my daughter was going in and he was in there, I'd be like, uh, hello? I think there has to be you know? some familiarity there, or, or the girls in that picture wouldn't have been just going about their business. I don't know that, but you don't think they'd be freaked out if you're a girl and you walk in and you see that guy standing there? Because he looks... Taking a picture? More than likely, yeah. security would be yeah. there very shortly. Yeah, so I think they somebody must, would be calling security. They must know something. Okay, now on to Dolce and Gabbana, which is truly a disturbing, very disappointing story because I know a lot of gay people buy their clothes. I don't. I don't really care for their stuff because it looks better on 16-year-old boys than it does on 40-year-old guys. And it costs like a million dollars for a pair yeah. of socks. So boycott them. And if you don't know the controversy, they basically have come out when they were in Italy. They were talking to a news reporter there, and they talked about how they were anti-LGBT families, how they think it should be only a natural thing between heterosexuals to have kids. Oh, and I no. think that was truly sad. No, they didn't just go that far. I well, mean, they, 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 called, the place, they called gay families pretty much unnatural. Unnatural. But especially kids yeah. that were conceived versus IFV, they called them synthetic, yeah. which is just an it's awful pathetic. thing to yeah. say about a human being and somebody's child. And of course now they're backtracking, oh, we didn't really mean that, because that seems to be what people do these days. They make really heinous, horrible comments about people. In the news, they say ridiculous things, and then when they get criticized, and when the gay community and people come out in general and basically say, you're a shithead, we're going to boycott your product, they apologize and say, oh, we didn't really mean that. Are we going to blank yeah. that out? What? 
your your, your language. No, I'm not blanking okay. anything out. Why do I have to blank it out? We're an adult channel. We're it's not. a family show. No, this isn't a family show. This is our weekly rewind. We've shown half naked men on here. How is it a family show? They're only half naked. Well, no, I'm not and blanking not even the good YouTube. Half. I'm not blanking out my language. So, to Dolce and Gabbana, you can eat me. I don't care about your your products, and I don't care about what you, your apologies. So, and for people that I mean, one of their yeah. main consumer bases besides the women that buy their clothes are gay men. I mean, yeah. it just seems like shooting yourself right in the leg. Now, how many gay men will boycott them? Are you going to boycott them? Because my feeling is a lot of gay men just don't care. I They're not politically can, active, and they really don't care. If what you they can think. afford Dolce and Gabbana clothing, you're yeah. probably not going to boycott. So you're saying that rich gay people just don't care? I'm saying rich people in general probably no, are not going to. You said that most of their stuff are your customers are gay men I'm, you're saying rich gay men don't care no I'm not saying that yeah. at all I Brian don't know, thinks that I don't you know rich gay people just don't who's care who's gonna boycott them and who isn't well we I'm are boycotting them it was them. a really dumb comment to make we are boycotting them even though we don't own anything by them <laughs> like we could afford it anyway but, but <laughs> we are middle class gays and we can't necessarily afford Dolce & Gabbana but if we did buy expensive clothing we would totally boycott them so moving on okay on to Madonna Madonna's newest CD for all you people out there who love Madonna. I am talking to you. I'm not talking to the Madonna haters because you don't like her music anyway. But I wanted to just give a really quick review of Madonna's new album. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I'd say there's there's 18 songs on here and well, there's 19 songs and I only really like five or six of them. I think a lot of it's just filler. A lot of it's just Madonna in a recording room trying to figure out what to do and, and it's not really her best stuff. And coming from me... That is a major criticism okay, because do, I love Madonna. He found out she was touring and coming to the area, yeah. and he went, squee! Yeah. And for an album he doesn't like, he is knocking himself dead to get tickets to that show. Um, the tickets are like 300 bucks a piece, so mm -hmm. I don't know that we'll be going to see Madonna because we'd need four tickets, and that's kind of over our price range. Well, if a certain somebody's liver turns but... up on Craigslist... <laughs> huh? Ooh, your liver? <laughs> it wouldn't be my liver, it'd be yeah. his liver. Please but, somebody uh, call the cops because yeah, I so... need help. Rebel Heart, which is the name of the album, and actually don't like the name of the song, or the song Rebel Heart. I didn't think it was one of her better ones. There are five, six, five or six songs on here I really like. Living to Love is really cool. I like Devil Prey a lot, and there's a bunch of them that I really like on here. But overall, I'm not a big fan of the new album. Um, I think you should go out and buy it anyways, just to make sure <laughs> she has her numbers. But instead Madonna, of just buying the singles on iTunes? Yeah, yeah it's kind of bumped by the album. Okay, okay you're up. South Africa? Oh, okay. We'll talk about South Africa. Something about a penis transplant. Yes. Okay. Doctors in South Africa say they've done the first ever penis transplant. And why? This is just humorous news, okay? We're talking. We're having drinks. Just why we just needed a penis transplant? Don't use language. I don't know. It, yeah. It's anatomically correct. So. Now, is it a penis transplant onto a trans person? No. That would be a good story. It was somebody who had been injured, actually, and who had lost their member. Was and it a so they received... that cut it off? I don't know. Was it a mad gay husband I don't that know. cut it off? I don't know if a dingo ate it off. I don't know. But it, it was an injury, and then a transplant was successfully done. So they found a donor penis and successfully <laughs> attached it. How do you find it. a donor penis? I don't know. So do I go down to the morgue and find the... Maybe the, Craigslist right underneath yeah. Brian's liver. So basically, you can go to the morgue and find the penis that you like and have it transplanted onto your body now. Apparently, this is something that can be done. Yeah, wow. I just thought in a world of medical miracles, this was just a really odd ball and thought I would share it with everybody. So it was successful? It was. Did they show a picture of the penis? No, they didn't. That seems like you'd they almost want to see... And oddly enough, though, yeah. they did show an operating room shot where all the doctors were happy. It was men all the way around, from the anesthesiologist to the nurse to the surgeons, all men. So we know how this happened. So it'd be nice if they could make it so you have like an attachment, you know, like in video games where you can just attach things. I just, you know, if they put that much effort and energy into repairing female bodies, I think the world um, might they be have a, breasts. a transformative they have, they place. Can re, they can form breasts and they can make new breasts for females that have had them removed for cancer. So that is something that they do. I and I'm sure there are men that lose I their penises so. for whatever reasons, cancer or whatever issues that happen. And it, it's nice to know that you can have one put back on. It's a just it's a good thing. It's just kind of so, an oddball news piece. So there you go, YouTube. From you South too, Africa. You too can have a penis transplant. Yeah, well, I know which kind of penis I'd pick. <laughs> now we all have to know that. Well, it'd be, un it'd be uncut, obviously, because it's something I don't have. So I want something that I don't have. And people say that's the greatest thing on the planet. So I feel like I've been robbed from birth. 
I'm being Catholic and everything. I'm happy you know? with what I got. I don't need to exchange it for well, anything I'm, else. <laughs> so you know, I'm happy with what you got too. Okay. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Was there I want to know what's up with Oklahoma, personally. Oh, come on. Now, here's the deal. I may not I may not have a problem with Oklahoma, because they're banning they're banning it for all people, well, not just gay people. What they're saying is, if if it's okay for businesses mm -hmm. to discriminate against people based off their religious belief, that there's a no, lawmaker okay. now that wants them to post a sign in their window saying that they discriminate and why they discriminate. So instead of just challenging the fact that they think it's okay for them not to deal with a certain member of the public because of their religious beliefs, they're saying, eh, we're not going to take that issue. We'll just make them put a sign up so that you can, they, first off, they have to own their bigotry. Second off, you can choose where to spend your money as a consumer. I thought you were talking about the marriage issue. Which state banned straight people from getting married unless it's a religious... Um, take take your pick. Yeah. Alabama is still going strong in that. No, department. there's there's a state recently. Oklahoma's uh, in that I, category. Yeah, I can't remember the state, but one of the states have made it so they banned all marriages outside of the religious event. So in order to get married in that state, and I'm sorry, I'll put the name of the state down here because I completely forget it. Um, you have to be religious. You have to basically your church has to bless you, and you have to get a, a religious contract in order to get married in that state now. So if you're an atheist and you're a straight couple, good luck. You can't get married, just like gay people can't get married. But here's the deal: lots of churches these days actually agree with gay marriage or marriage equality, and they will marry uh, homosexual couples. So as long as that state's rules apply to everybody across the board, I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I don't personally think that you know marriage is a religious thing, but if the state is going to enforce that law, as long as they enforce it equally across the board, I think they legally have a right to do well, so. Well, I think the states do have an interest in regulating marriage. So if they back off and say, well, we're just not going to marry anybody. Well, they did. They're going to have... They're not marrying anybody unless it's a religious thing. That's fine. Then they don't have anything to say about their divorces. They yeah, don't have anything to say about custody rights. Then they should take all the legal stuff out of it. Yeah. I mean, all yeah. the ramifications that come with that. Yeah, so and as long as they... Have fun with that, Alabama. Yeah. I don't think it was Alabama. Was it Alabama? Oh, Al they're on the list. They, well, Alabama they is just... They're fighting for it. They're a crap hole. So but with that and with all the crap that's going on... If you live in Alabama, Ferguson, move to California. With all the crap that's going on with Ferguson, with the two yeah. cops that got shot, I think that anybody watching our news from outside the United States has got to wonder if the entire country has gone collectively insane. Yeah, America's pretty crazy. I mean, because I can't imagine... that's how I feel when I live here. Well, you know, America has no common sense. I think that's what it comes down to. We, we, we are pretty smart, but we have no common sense. I... <laughs> I think you really have to take that on. Personal okay, personal YouTube. Basis. So before this video becomes 20 minutes, uh, we will not be doing a video next week because me, Daniel, and Wolfie will be in Japan, and Brian really does not know how to use technology. So <sighs> since not he's true. not able to do a video and edit a video with Selena, I'm guessing that the video you see next week will be our my adventures in Japan, running around Tokyo, and showing you what we're up to. So until next time, YouTube. Bye. Selena and me are going to go ice skating, we're going to get our nails done, and we're going Bye, to have YouTube. fun. Bye, YouTube. So don't expect to see from us at Bye, YouTube. Bye. And I believe that our love found its way through the current as the waves cry.